Oh God, I swore I'd never do another one of these. Uh, Superstar 3900 EFT, belonging to Bobby. Uh, we done the 361 for it, clone for. Uh, this thing is here for a bit of a tune up and um, whatever else we find, it's a mile off as usual with these. I've just been listening here, there's been a bit of skip on the triple five and when it's reading 5550 it's well off it's off about half a kc um the counter will probably need adjustment as well we'll just see where it is yeah see with it on center it's three hertz off um or whatever uh on the counter so uh we will have to sort all this out from start to finish and uh then it'll be right it's an absolute pain in the arse tuning these because you have like 12 bands and um, oh, it's, it's just a chore so anyway we'll uh, put the counter on it and see what it's doing and uh, see what needs adjustment and what doesn't so we'll be back right so we went through all the tuning malarkey uh, of which there is quite a few steps <clears throat> so it's all sorted now and receive and transmit uh, it's quite widespread on these radios, so occasionally um, I show you when we, at the end when we're going through all the different bands and stuff that you have to bump the. See, this is a, a notched clarifier, and the way it's done, you can't de notch these. <clears throat> I uh, tried it on the last one and um, ended up making balls of it, so I ended up putting a 10 turn clarifier in it. Um. The other complaint was that it was very quiet on FM, so we sorted out the FM deviation. So it's off on FM here now, and we're listening on the on the ninety three. One two one two check check one two three four five one two one two check one two one two audio. And we're just using a standard uh, Cobra microphone. One two check check one two three four five one two check one two. So um, <coughs> the complaint was that it was quiet and muffled. Uh, the deviation was well off, so we just sorted that out. Um, the thing is with these, when they come from the factory, they tune them, but, uh, you know, it's just a, a, a lick and a promise, as we say here in Ireland. Um, <laughs> they don't go to <coughs> any great detail on it, so um, the Roger Beep is not working. And I don't know why. I'm guessing that there may be a transistor or something gone that switches it. So I'll have to talk to Billy and see. Because um, that could take a few hours to find. So other than that now she's all tuned. And uh, I might re-grease the finals there. And uh, just check everything else is tight. But there was no one ever in this radio before because I had to... I had to break the wax on the on the speaker connection <coughs> or the glue or that red stuff whatever it is they use so um there was no one ever, ever in here before <coughs> which is good so she's all sorted out okay so we went through all the frequency stuff and everything else we've done so uh, what we're going to do now we just uh, we'll pull the front off it clean it White face meter, uh, clean the knobs and do the lines in blue. And uh, that should be it then, ready to go. So let's get that done. So here we are in a very stripped down state. Um, literally washed the front inside and out. Um, the outside of the uh, frequency glass and the channel display, they, they get quite full of dust and stuff in the corners. So. We uh, washed all that. All the knobs are washed. Uh, they're still wet. I have to actually dry them now. Uh, even the, the little chrome buttons that go here on the six push button switches. We took those off and cleaned them as well. Uh, what we're going to do. Um, the meter is done. So we just have to put that back in. And... Um, so we'll clean off the knobs, we'll do the paint on the lines. Uh, I want to put a bit of um, 
blue film material behind these two pieces of uh, perspex or whatever you want to call them and the reason being it stops you seeing uh, it stops you seeing the gap between the segments and you can't see the decimal points and uh, stuff like that uh, I done it to, to that radio there so when you turn it off you can't see anything and it tames it down a little bit as well because the blue can be a bit severe and I'm saying that a huge fan of blue by the way so uh, that's where we are we're going to keep on going here and get this finished right so here we are and she's all back together and everything done so I have the film in there as I told you oh you can't see anything and um, it just kind of tames it down a little bit and uh, we have the white face meter in there and uh, the channel display has the film in it as well so we have it on the um, dummy load here so this is uh, let's see minimum RF power on FM go to the, looking at the middle scale 2 watts this is 12 o'clock on FM 10 watts and that's full bore on FM 10 watts as well uh, let's see AM minimum power go 12 o'clock higher scales we're looking at the top scale now and we've it turned up now one two fifteen watts sideband minimum power about twelve watts there uh, twelve o'clock We'll say 20. Now we go full bore, wide open. About 20 watts. Lower side band. 1, 2, audio. Here you want a power mic on that now to drive it on. And um, you see, this is this is just the thing with these because of the way it's notched it's just a pain you know the notch pulls it back but what can you do um, it's just the way they're done like that one there there's no notch in, in that and it's the same clarifier but anyhow um, you've got all the blue lines on the knobs And uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet looking now. Uh, there was a couple, there's a couple of scratches here. I, like I can't do anything with those, you know, they're too deep. But um, I cleaned it up as best I can, and uh, she looks good. She looks good. You just kind of have to fiddle about with this till you get it that it'll come on. That she's in the right spot, you know. You have to play with the two of them, you know. You can do it that way. That's probably the best way, you know. Like no one is ever bang on frequency, really. Um, it's a myth, you know. You just once you have everything that once it's in the region of twelve o'clock, it's plus or minus uh, twenty hertz. So yeah, there you go. Bill, I hope you're happy with that. And uh, she is ready for her trip home. So, 73. And we catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.